What up you lab rats? This is episode number what? 81. Let's talk about finding the support you need here on Motivation Monday. Stay tuned. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Lab Rad Dailies, the in-between show on the main show, the Get in the Lab podcast. Uh, Every day here, we have a theme, and of course, on Monday is Motivation Monday, help you get started throughout the week and hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, I'm definitely hustling. It's the first time I've recorded a show at 5.30 in the morning. (laughs) So I woke up at 5 this morning, and y'all know I went to Podcast San Diego um, Saturday, and I did a whole bunch of stuff over there, gave a talk, uh, experienced a whole lot of anxiety, <laughs> such starved myself for a good 12 hours, I'm sure. Um, it was a really great experience to finally shake the hands of the people that I've been talking to online and to just kind of reaffirm some of the old ones that I made Uh, when I was just kind of getting started really in the podcasting world. So it really showed to me how much, how far I've come uh, in my journey and and that alone was motivating. But then to just have the, the affirmation of so many others who were just so supportive, so generous and kind, uh, you know, with their words, their compliments, um, wanting to get to know me and more about what we do here on the lab and um, it was it was definitely an impactful experience, and I learned so much, guys, which I'm going to share with you with uh, with Kevin later on in the week, and um, to really break down, you know, what we thought about the event, uh, our thoughts before, during, and after, and um, kind of some lessons that we want to take away and what we're going to change in our own business and our own scheme because it's it's great guys to go to events and get hyped up and meet a lot of people uh, but the main thing is you know what are you going to do now with that inspiration that motivation that you know lessons that you learn and you know what the the event was only like $99 to go and it was $79 before that and the content the inspiration the relationships that we made during that whole experience is definitely worth more than a hundred bucks. Okay. I mean, I didn't have to pay because I was a speaker, but for others that did go and did pay that registration price, like they, they, I believe that they got what, you know, more than what they paid for a lot more than what they paid for. I mean, really? So Um, And I could feel that too. I could feel that in the, in the room. And I could feel that from the very moment that people started walking through the door, like this was something special. And, uh, you know, afterwards we all went to, uh, this, this restaurant, like just a couple, like a block away or something like that. Uh, probably shorter than that, but just to hang out, you know, and like (laughs) to, to swap little life stories here and there. And, uh, definitely definitely an experience so I don't want to talk too much about it I already put it all in my vlog which you could see here somewhere um my thoughts on that and and some really cool things as well I share in that vlog but yeah we're going to get into more you know concrete stuff about the event and I will be putting up a recording of my talk later on uh on YouTube on the tube so let's get into today's episode you know going into the event Um, It reminded me how important it is to have the support um, that I have, really, to have the support to go into this field of, and and for, for, you know, all intents and purposes, this is a very weird field of creating content and trying to help somebody out and and the way that we go about creating content and the way that we go about selling and marketing in a very non-sleazy way, in a very, you know, give, give, give first and then ask, very Gary V way. Um, it's weird, right? It's not really what we're used to. We're not brought up around it. And so usually it's really hard to find support outside of, you know, your immediate community, like the podcast community. The podcast community is extremely supportive and you can always go to it for support. But, you know, it, it reminds me when Kevin and I were first getting into this thing and I was already, you know, I was already all in, you know, but he wasn't yet. 
And so that really affected our relationship. That really affected me and my confidence in what I was doing because my partner didn't really get it. And that sucks when the people around you who you love, um, especially family members or your, your spouse or, you know, people close to you, uh, you know, they've been raised a certain way and they have their ways of thinking and you did too. You were in that, you, you were in that world, but then you left that world. <laughs> you did a 180 on them. And now, you know, uh, now you have to try to explain to them what it is you're doing. And it, and it was really hard for me to find the support that I wanted, um, from from Kevin more importantly more specifically from Kevin you know I could I could kind of get away with it with my parents and my friends because I don't live with them every day you know I don't you know I don't sleep in the same bed as they do I don't you know eat the same food and you know just doing everything together and so the person that I'm spending my life with you know it, it really matters that that he supports what I'm doing in the beginning when he didn't get it I was like, man, I've just, I got to do it. There's no other way for me, you know? And even though I didn't have that support in the very beginning, I went out and, f- and found my own, uh, my own support so that I could, cause you need that. You need an environment for which you can kind of be cheerleaded on. Um, so let's talk about that. So when you're not getting support and you need it, um, you know, those people, you know, specifically say, you know, for example, Kevin, he didn't get it at first, but that was fine. He like, he needed time to just kind of get to, get to know what this world was about. I needed time to learn how to understand how to communicate what was going on. Because when, when things happen so crazy like that, you're not an expert at how to communicate what's going on and, and, what what you're going to go through and you can't even comfort them that hey what I'm going to do is going to be awesome it's going to be super successful you could feel it yeah you could feel it and you can believe in yourself but it's hard to convince anybody of anything really right it takes a lot of energy out of you you really have to show them you know the results and stuff and when you first start out you don't have no results you know what I mean so um when that is going on, you know, the first thing I would do, and if you're not getting that support, is to go out and find it and create uh, like a mastermind for yourself. And so one of the first things I did was I <laughs> I went to a Facebook group that I was a part of. And uh, it was actually B-School, I think. B-School, Marie Forleo's B-School. And I said, hey, my name is Megan. I made, I took a picture of myself, which was totally weird and awkward. And I said, you know, I just want to make friends. And if anybody's local, I'd love to meet up. And we can talk about um, video. And we can talk about YouTube and whatever. I don't, I don't even remember. And nobody really replied except for like one person. <laughs> and he, he he would told me later he's like you know I replied because I felt sorry for you and I was like holy crap that's it that's really sad but whatever um but that garnished a relationship and it told me that I that I was likable in some way because I've been so shy before and so I was like okay cool let you know I if I take this relationship and take these skills that I'm kind of practicing like people skills practicing with this dude and it was cool just to hang out we clicked right away um and take that and just expand upon one more one more one more and soon I started to kind of collect people to be in my corner as they got to know me and um there I started to create my own my own support group because I wasn't really getting it at home So (laughs) that gave me confidence to bring back into the home and start showing, proving that what I'm doing does have value and and does have purpose for our established business. And so though little by little, guys, that's how it happened for me, you know, trying to uh, switch the the atmosphere around here, because before it it wasn't an open book. It was like I would just do my thing. I wouldn't tell Kevin about it because I believed that he didn't get it, which was true at the time. But like the more that I, that I did not try to share things with him, uh, the more distant we became and the more I almost became kind of resentful because, you know, you, you're my spouse and I expect you to just support me without, you know, any reason. And that wasn't really logical for me to, uh, put on him because, Like, how can I expect somebody really to give me their support if I haven't really shown anything to support, right? And so 
Um, some people can kind of get away with it. Some couples like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm here for you. I'm all the time. And that's, that's really lucky, but we're not that way. Uh, Kevin is very like, you know, logical, like <laughs> rational. Where's the results? Does, does that even work? And so, I mean, that's real talk. That's kind of harsh, but at the same time, it motivated me to go out and find results. And I think that accelerated my growth because I was almost forced to not just take my time with it and, and see it as like a hobby. Podcasting is not a hobby. Um, it's work that I love to do. And the results are are more indirect, uh, leading to, you know, sales and marketing and branding, but it's there. It's there for sure. And throughout, you know, throughout the years, <laughs> it took like kind of years to kind of get to here where we are. Um, I sooner became, be, began to harness that support that I had online, you know, ca- collecting people and putting them in my corner and showing Kevin, like, this is something and I'm showing it to you. And more and more, I got more confident in what I was doing. And so funnily enough, you know, with all relationships, it ebbs and flows. And even though I thought he was all in, all in it, we just had a conversation last night about what it means to really support one another. And it got really heated and it got really emotional. Um, but it was, I'm so glad that we had that conversation because he could really, he was ready to receive, you know, what I was saying. And I was ready to be straight up with him and to be like, well, you know, if you're not on board, I'll show you how to be on board. <laughs> <laughs> at first it started out like oh you know uh you still don't value what I do or whatever and then I I said you know what no I have a a ton of people who believe in what I do and there's my validation already I don't need I actually don't need your validation I know what I am doing is is valuable and it was great because he, <laughs> he could see that he's like oh you're right you know And, you know, you can never get too comfortable. You kind of always have to have a a checkup for yourself and um, keeps me on my toes to make sure that, you know, we're both doing our part. And even though it got emotional and I got heated and all this stuff, like, I know that that's the work that we're putting in. You know, that's the commitment that we have. If we didn't, if we didn't even care to to be bothered by the, you know, by the words that we're saying to each other, um, then we would have a problem. And so I'm so glad that I have a partner that's willing to go there with me on, on both ends of the spectrum to fight, to not to fight, but like to, you know, to argue, to discuss (laughs) in a heated manner, and then to come back and say, okay, cool. You know, I want to be on the same page. And we had our moment to express our frustration with this whole thing and we can move on and move forward and we're much more clear on what's going on between us, you know. So uh, finding the support you need, guys, it's so important to get that support. And when you don't have it at first, I, I highly encourage you not to give up because there's there's so many other ways of getting that, you know. And I find in my experience that, you know, while I... I didn't have Kevin's support in the beginning. Um, my goal was to get that support. And so I created an environment in which he could, he could be welcomed into this world and, uh, and have that be possible. And so if you don't have it, you know, like Kevin said yesterday, he's like, you know, I, I haven't been, you know, 110% f- for you up until this point, but I want to be, so don't, don't throw me out, don't give up on me, and then I got all emotional, like I'm getting right now, and then I was like, okay, you know, that just shows me, like, to be more patient, and to, because it does take so much patience, guys, to be able to just, just be like, okay, you don't, you don't get it right now, you don't get it right now, but I'm going to show you, (laughs) I'm going to show you and you will get it. You will get it eventually in your own time. And when I said that, it was like, 
the fact that I was giving him time and it was okay for him not not to be 100% for me. And he felt so bad. I didn't mean to make him feel bad, but that's that's kind of how I felt, you know. Um, that's my way. I Otherwise, because I can't be mad. I can't be resentful, you know. I can only just say, well, you're not here right now. And uh, I just have to accept that. That makes me a little mad. I was a little mad before, but... You know, if you're not here right now with me, that's okay. I have other people who are there for me. You know, I have big, big cheerleaders who send me video messages like, you're going to be freaking awesome. And if I want you to be my number one cheerleader, and if you're not, um, that's okay. That's okay. I can, I can wait. You know, it's not a big deal. And then, and he was like, oh crap, man. You know, I want, I want to be that for you. And so, I think it's all about creating the environment for which, you know, that support can grow. So do you know what I mean? I know I'm kind of rambling. It's freaking 530 in the morning. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's, let's still keep it under 15 minutes and, um, (laughs) more episodes coming. I just, guys, I, I was exhausted after the, uh, after the event, not, not like crazy exhausted. Like I just want to sleep all day, but just like, my, I just needed to um, recover my energy. So, you know, a lot of uh, introverts will talk about like, oh, yeah, I'll go to an event and then I just need to like go away for a minute. <laughs> so that's what I kind of felt yesterday. So I didn't do much and I didn't do my episode for today. So I'm kind of creating it in a little bit of a rush, but that's okay because it's a different feel for today's show and I like to mix it up. Um, Later on, you know, I'll I'll try to record outside or I'll try to record anywhere I can because I have the equipment to just go wherever I want. Um, and it'll be good for me to not be behind the cam, uh, be behind my computer so much. So stay tuned. Who knows? We'll have a you know we'll have a varied amount of um, different types of shows this week. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with me today, wherever you are. Um, Five thirty. I guess I'm gonna have some breakfast drink some coffee, get to the gym. And uh, it's Motivation Monday, so I hope that you are ready and willing to do the work that needs to be done today. And uh, whenever you feel lazy, just say, okay, I feel lazy. That's all right. That's all right. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get some shit done, you know, eventually. (laughs) Eventually. So, um, no, don't say eventually. Uh, good things, guys. Let's, uh, let's keep it tight. I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday Tips, okay, on the Lab Rat Daily. So thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, once again, my name is Megan, reminding you to get in the lab. We'll see you. Peace out. Hey, Lab Rats, what's up? Really quick. So this Saturday, right, I'm going to go to um, Amy Schmidhauer's uh, SSS Live. She's the founder of Savvy, the face of Savvy Sexy Social. So she's teaching people like me. I'm going to the event. Um, I'm actually documenting the thing and, and doing some some headshots for her, but um, she's teaching uh, teaching people how to use vlogging in their business. So if you want to check that out, links in the description. SSS Live is going to be in uh, uh, San Diego, in downtown, I believe. I think I'm not sure. Some it's in San Diego, okay. And uh, yeah, I'll be there. If you're there, I'd love to connect. Hit me up on Twitter at Megan J Photo. Okay, all right. See you guys.